Hey everyone, welcome to West Coast Muscle Saws. As most of you know, I've retired from building chainsaws, but I still have a great interest in the saws, collecting them, repairs and stuff like that. I don't do the actual repairs anymore, but I do help a lot of guys with their projects as far as their collectible chainsaws, muscle saws, current falling saws, uh, current models. Quite a spectrum. I worked on chainsaws from the 70s, clear on up through 2022, somewhere in there. 45 plus years working on chainsaws <clears throat> and of course everybody loves their collectible chainsaws because it seems to be one of the most popular there is to collect and after this little video here I'm going to tell you where there's one located where you can buy it if you'd like to this here is one of mine from my collection runs like a dream it's a McCullough 790 it's got the steel sleeve cylinder it's just in perfect shape runs like a dream it's got the right side starter they had a lot of issues with these. They were easily worn out. The guys didn't line them up right properly when they were using them. Had all kinds of start issues. What we would do on these is the Super Pro 125 with just slight modification. You could put a starter on the left side, a Super Pro 125 starter, recoil starter, and either take this one off or leave it on. A lot of guys left it on because back in those days, guys did not come home, come home when they had a broken starter rope. They just kept on going, or they repaired it on the spot, on the stump. That's what they did. This one's uh, in great shape. It's got some head, it's got a headstone custom built on the inside, and then a standard one on the outside. Headstones are very hard to come by, very popular. This is uh, just in great shape. I just love it. But here's the one that everybody wants the Super Pro 125. I worked on, built, repaired hundreds if not thousands of these over the 40 some years that I've worked on them. This one has got the original muffler cover on it and is in great shape. It's got the headstone falling spike which everybody wants. I've seen those go for a couple hundred dollars. Very very expensive headstone falling spike and got the original starter handle on it. It's in great shape. Just a great saw. Runs like a dream. But what I want to show you is one of my uh, clients, customers, he's got, let me get this adjusted here so you can see what we're talking about. He's got a couple saws for sale. And one of them is this Super Pro 125. And let's zoom in just let me show you, let me show you a few things on it here. It's got the original starter handle, and I know it's original because it's got the original plug in there that they put from the factory. It's a little piece of tin metal to protect that rope from the elements. That's why they put it on there, and you just don't see that very often. You'll, you'll uh, we didn't replace them back in the day. We could, we had, uh, had access to that little plug, but the guys didn't really care. It wasn't a concern for the timber cutters whether we replaced that or not, so we didn't. Got the little plug there that pops out so you can fine tune your carburetor. Got the rubber boot still there for the where the access the spark plug. Got the rubber on the lower rear handle. That's usually very rare to see that. Wrap handlebars. And let me show you a few other things here. Not only one headstone, two of them. Two of those very hard to come by headstone falling spikes. The timber fallers would put those on because they could uh, really get an accurate cut on when they were cutting the very large trees. They used two falling spikes to help hold that so they can get a straight shot when they're putting their lay. They call it the lay when they're putting the trees down. Got the sticker on it for the oiler, what to use for your oil. Handlebars in just really good shape. You can see the little rubber protector here. That's in case the chain through it would protect the handlebars. I've seen a lot of these on both sides where the handle, handlebars are cut in half where the chain is thrown. And all kinds of issues with them. Muffler cover, of course. Decompression valve. Nice badge on it. And he's got this home light, C5. It's really clean, very nice shape. 
Got some numbers on the bar. It looks like it says home light on it. It's in great shape. C5 convertible. Very nice saw. There they are. And let me give you some information how to contact Clarence. He does not have an email, but you can get hold of him by either texting or call 541-660-4995. And you know how hard it is to find these uh, saws in good shape. I think you're going to find those are in great shape, but do your due diligence on it. Make sure it's in what you're after. And talk to Clarence about that. And you can get you a couple of highly collectible chainsaws. All right, guys. Have a great day.